What's up guys, it's Light Sprout here and today I'm bringing you another video of the, I don't remember if I called it Life with Camila or the Camila Life or whatever, but you read the title so I'm sure you can guess what it is. And normally I don't use face cam. I haven't used face cam in like a year, a year and a half or something, but I thought I would do it because I did a lot to change my recording setup for YouTube and Twitch and so I don't know the face cam just fit well in this layout because I put like I'm recording on the my iPad because my iPad is where I play on this account because my phone I play on my main account and so the iPad is kind of like a weird shape like you can see it's more like squarish than the iPhone and so um, it didn't really fit well on its own, and so I wanted to put it off to the side, and then I put a picture of Camila on the bottom left, but I thought it looked kind of weird, empty, like I'll show you what it looked like, empty, like it looked like this, and I don't know, it seemed like it was like lacking something, so I was just like, okay, whatever, when I'm recording this series, I'll just put a face cam on, and it's not really going to be that big of a deal. Um, I am well aware that I don't have a good face cam. Um, believe me, uh, but I think there's worse face cams. And also, hopefully this mic sounds better because this is the first time I've used this mic, um, at least in a video, and I think it should sound better than the old mic I used. It may or may not, because the old mic I used was really bad, and this is probably still decently bad, but I don't think it's as bad. And also, uh, bear with me if I'm talking either too loud or too quiet, and try and just adjust the volume or something because um, I don't really know how close or far I should be from the mic. Like right now, I'm pretty close, but if I'm like this far away, maybe it's like not loud enough, or maybe it's still too loud. But so I'm just kind of going pretty close just to be on the safe side. And so if it's too loud, uh, I'm sure you guys are gonna let me know. And um, yeah, but so for today, uh, coming back to this chat, this series. Um, for those of you who haven't seen it, because the reason I haven't uploaded it in, I don't know, like four or five months, not really sure, is because when I uploaded it, it didn't really do that well on the channel. Like, it's I wasn't expecting it to be like my most viewed videos, but they were only getting like 20 to 30 views in the first day. And so I was like, well, if they're not getting very many views, then... I guess people just don't really like it and so I stopped uploading it but I don't know I just felt like uploading it again it's kind of like motivation because I want to play on this account more because I have a Camila and I have an Iona which I don't have either of those on my main account and also I have an Orion which I don't have on my main account and so I don't know I kind of just wanted to play around with those monsters that I don't normally get to play with and I just normally forget and I do realize that my reflector is pretty laggy right now and that's just something that I don't really know how to make better if you guys do have any like tips on how to make it a little less laggy I'd be appreciative of that because um, what I use is reflector 2 and I there's one there's an update that it's been telling me to get for like a month and I always just like skip it so maybe I should get the update that's probably a good starting point but I think for the most part whether it runs smooth or not is based on my internet connection so I guess I don't have the best internet if that's the case because it, it is pretty laggy a lot of times and I do know people that use reflector and it's not this laggy so yeah I'll, I'll take note of that but so these videos, I, I'm getting off track. Uh, the These videos, for those of you that haven't seen any of these, which is probably most of you, because I've grown a lot since I last posted these. Um, when I last posted these, I had like 50 or 60 subscribers. And just recently over the weekend, we actually hit uh, 100 subscribers. And right now as I'm recording, we're at 105. But so we've like close, I don't know exactly how many subs we had, when I uploaded the first two videos in this series, but we've probably been pretty close to doubling the sub count. So, um, we, you know, we've uh, doubled channel growth essentially. And so a lot of you guys probably haven't seen it. And then 
but anyways, what I normally do is it's kind of like the the Jew Bagel series where he does like a uh, beginner account and he like levels it up for a little bit and then. Hello. Okay, sorry, I just got interrupted. Someone like walked in the room for a second, but um. Yeah, it's kind of like the, it's inspired by the Jubeo things, and I mentioned that in the first video, so it's like I'm not trying to like steal his video idea and call it something completely new and original, but that being said, I don't think I'm just completely copying him because of the fact that copying him is basically just copying a Let's Play, and it's not like a Let's Play is a new thing on YouTube, it's a whole like genre, but so this is basically just like a Let's Play that's going to last anywhere from 20 minutes to 30 minutes probably. I'm not going to make it insanely long and I'm not going to make it insanely short. And yeah, so basically I'm just going to be playing around and doing what I would do on this account for 30 minutes just because I don't normally play on it. And like I said, I want to play on it. And it's just a for fun account. Like odds are this account will never make a raid team, um, never make a TOA hard team. It'll probably make TOA normal. Um, I may or may not ever make a Necro team. I'll make a giant. I've already made a Giants B10 team, and I'm 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 sure I'll make a Dragons team, which I I haven't yet though. And this was the account for those of you who haven't seen it that I recorded a um not a series but one video on, and it was called like a full wind farmable Giants B10 team, and basically on this account. I did this challenge where before I made my first six star on this account, I made a Giants B10 team out of completely farmable monsters. So that means the whole team was a five star team and it could auto Giants B10 and it had really poor runes and all that stuff. But anyways, while I was making that this account for that video, I summoned a Camila in the summoning stones. And so, I mean, like once that happens, like I'm not going to erase this account if it has a Camila. And then shortly after I got a... Iona, which kind of added on to like, if I get a good LD nat four, I'm not going to just give away this or not a giveaway is not the right word, but I'm not just going to like forget about this account completely. And so, you know, since I did make that video of a full five star giants B 10 team, that was farmable. Um, I have made three, six stars and I'm working on my fourth and my original plan with this was I was going to make a six star, my first five six stars were going to be like one attack, like nuke or whatever you call it, of each element. And so that's why I made Camila first, which is kind of like a hybrid damage dealer. It's not really complete damage. Tessarian, which is also kind of a hybrid damage dealer. And a Cases, which most people don't use as a damage dealer. But if she has base 100, like eight, base 800 some attack power, so she actually could be used as kind of like a hybrid damage dealer and is actually a pretty decent beginner's damage dealer in Giants. Once I get better runes on a cases, I'll probably actually make a video on this account of a damage of cases as a beginner Giants B10 damage dealer because she's pretty solid with first skill. We'll do a little bit of damage and a three turn dot, which is 15% HP, which is pretty good. Um, second skill does a little bit of damage and a 20% AOE heal, which is also pretty good. And the third skill will give you f a shield and an anti-crit, which is once again pretty good. But so it's pretty, it's just pretty solid for a fir your first Giants B10 damage dealer. Like a Casus and a Rochi are kind of like the two best options for like a damage dealer that also provides a good amount of, like a safe damage dealer. Like a Rochi doesn't really provide any support but he's kind of safe because you can run him on an HP build to do damage because he does dot damage. But a Cases is actually a lot more of a support than a Rochi. And I don't really see a lot of love for like a Cases damage dealing. And I mean, like for a good reason, she's a more support. But you see a lot more Rochi. Although a Rochi is kind of dying down, and I might make a video on that soon about like the death of a Rochi or something. Because when I was new to the game, which was like two years ago, um, but when I was new a lot of people were like hyping up Orochi to be like a Giants B10 like god monster kind of because at the time like two years ago I couldn't do Giants B10 I can guarantee you that um, when I started 
but I'm just gonna guess that there wasn't really giant speed ten speed runs like there is now. Like two years ago, I don't even think Galleon was in the game. So like I don't like people weren't doing what it is now. Like now, any late game player has a giant speed ten team that's just Galleon and four nukers of their choice. Um, mainly like Lucians, Amirs, Sigs, Theos, that kind of stuff. Teors, Lagmarons. But, um, whatever. Two years ago, uh, people didn't have insane speed teams, and so I'm just guessing based on how hyped Orochi was that Orochi actually was really helpful for speed runs back then, just because a speed run back then was only like, I don't know, maybe it might have only been like three minutes, whereas now a speed run is like thirty seconds. So people have progressed in the game, obviously, and but Orochi's kind of died off. You don't really hear a lot of people talking about Orochi. I am not a big fan of him, but I remember when I was newer to the game, wishing I had an Orochi, and I just never summoned one until it's already late game, and I didn't want one. Um, I'm not in the Guild War, so that kind of sucks. I'm the Guild Leader, um, not Guild Shop. I'll show you the members, or whatever. I'm a co-leader. Like This is me, Light Spiral, and I didn't do my sword yet, so I should do those. But I'll try and add myself in the next war. Um or at least the next time I record this so I can actually be in the video or be do a guild war. But um, the double XP hour just ended four, five minutes ago, actually, which does kind of suck. But it's not that big of a deal because I probably wasn't going to use very, I mean, it's not, it's just, I don't need, I'm not dying for XP on this account. Um, although I do need five stars. Or six stars. Okay, I'm getting super off topic on this because I have a lot to say because it's been a while. But because um, when I talked about the six stars, it reminded me of when I wanted to make all the the damage dealers. Because what brought me off track was I talked about a Casus being a support damage dealer. And anyways, the light and dark ones I was thinking of doing, I don't have good light dark options. Like, um, you know, it's light dark on an alternate account where I don't, like farm like dark monsters out of hall of heroes or i mean no i do the hall of heroes i don't farm the secret dungeons like i could get dark in yugami is probably my best farmable dark damage dealer which is not great actually and the best light damage dealer that's farmable uh geez i don't know it'd probably be like the light imp or something right um yeah there's there's not good options for that i can I don't think there is. Maybe I'm forgetting something. And I don't know if this team's actually going to work in B10. I was kind of expecting it not to work, but it's working so far. I'm aware that there's going to be a heal block from one of these towers, like maybe the right tower is going to heal block me, and so that'll be pretty pretty deadly. But hopefully I can kill this thing decently quick because Tessa, Akasis, and Camila are all on damage builds, and then I've got dot first skills from both Tessa and Akasis, and I have accuracy on both of them too, so... So I think this might actually work, which will be nice. And, but yeah, my light and dark options right now, dark, I think the only dark monster I have at all on this account is the, um, what is it called? The dark kobold bomber from the Hall of Heroes. Um, it's, from what I'm hearing, I don't have one on either account, like built. From what I'm hearing, it's not really the world's best dark damage dealer or just, whatever damage dealer in general and two minutes actually isn't that terrible for a run on this account um hall of water i'm just gonna go to b7 and do this i don't have attack buff i probably should have put shannon in instead of bernard but you live and you learn um and yeah so dark i'll show you my storage and stuff my i'll show you this whole account basically uh this account has no runes like at all and no mana it's like, it doesn't have like anything like it's an alternate account that doesn't get played on and so that's that's what kind of like part of the goal of this series is, is just to you know set aside whatever 20 30 minutes every there and then to play the account so this series honestly is probably going to be a weekly thing if if even weekly um we'll, we'll see how it goes if it turns out pretty popular i'll do it as much as people want to see it but if it turns out not very popular, it might be once a week, once every other week, once a month, never again. I, 
it just depends. I'll, I'll do what people want to see. Um, cause hopefully if I don't do this on YouTube, I'll still just do it just on the side or maybe on Twitch or something on my Twitch stream. Um, I have the link to my Twitch in my, uh, channel, like I'm on my channel. Like if you click on whatever, if you click on my channel, like the home page of my channel has my Twitch, but, um, let me just make it right here. This is my Twitch. I know it's, I'll just make it like big and easy to read. Uh, it's spiral underscore us me and my brother hyper stream there, even though it's called spiral. Um, we both stream on it, but it is primarily me that streams. Uh, he doesn't do a lot of the streaming. It's more, it's more me, but he joins in every there. And then, um, I stream on, Tuesday and Thursday from three o'clock to six o'clock Pacific, um, in, in the afternoon, if that wasn't obvious. And then I stream on Saturdays and Sundays from like noon to 4 PM Pacific time. Um, so yeah, whatever time zone that is for you, I don't, I don't know, but that's when I stream at the, or at least that's when I'm streaming. Uh, the Saturday and Sunday is kind of like up in the air for when I stream just cause it is the weekend. And so, you know, sometimes I go out and do stuff on weekends or sometimes I don't feel like streaming or, you know, whatever it might, whatever the case is, um, stuff doesn't happen. Also, if you want to, sorry, I clicked on the stupid get friends thing. I didn't want to do that. Um, if you want to, please add me on this account because I'll show you, I only have 28 friends. And I need reps, you know, it's just uh, reps are very essential to this. And I have Camila as my rep. Uh, it can farm Feynman most of the time, but it fails. Uh, I can guarantee you that. So beware if you do, if you want my, to be a friend of this account just because of the Camila rep, beware that at the moment it farms Feynman, but not with 100%. It's maybe like 80% ish. Um, I'll show you the runes and stuff. I'll, I'll show you basically just everything this account has to offer in a second here. Um, dang, I lost what I was talking about. Something about the damage dealers is what I is what I really wanted to like talk about. Um, because I'm low, I'm on, I'm at a bad situation for in terms of damage dealers. Um. To, at least in terms of six strong damage dealers. So for the light category, I have Iona, I have Bella. Looks like about it right there. On um, in the storage, I have this Iridaz who has the vampire runes you get for the beginner challenge thing. Um, for like whatever clearing like mount like fame and hard or what whatever it is. Um, I have Iridaz, Iridaz, whatever. I have. Neil, who's not really a damage dealer. Amon, not a damage dealer. Lucien, who I don't even know what Lucien is. Just bad, I guess, is what Lucien is. Um, this guy, who's kind of like a support kind of guy, um, I don't think he does great damage. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure he doesn't. People use him in raids, though. Um, and then this guy, the his name's like Silver, I think. Um, I don't. I've not heard a lot about him doing good damage and his skills don't look insane. So in terms of light guys, honestly, Iridez seems like the only guy I even have that is an option. But from what I hear, he's not great at dealing damage. Or he's not really great at anything. And so I have this light undyne who's not damage dealer. Another one of these guys. I have a Gemini who is, once again, not really first choice damage dealer. Is that it? Yeah, it looks like it. Oh, for the dark guys, I forgot about Carl. Carl might be the dark six star I make. Just because I want to make one a damage of every element. And then I'll kind of start branching off into other stuff. Like, I'll probably end up six starring that Iona I have. And maybe the Bella. Maybe not. Um, like, we'll, we'll see. So I have Carl. I have Bearing. Um... And then, what do I have in storage? And then I have this guy. Um, I don't. 
I don't think this guy does a lot of damage. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think he does. Um, and then I have the Dark Mummy, who I also don't think is a damage dealer. At the cost of 5% of your current HP, your attacks will do additional damage based on how much HP you've lost. So you lose 5% of HP, though. Um, only activate on the monster's turn, so it doesn't work with revenge. I mean, I don't, I'm pretty sure he doesn't do great damage. I, mean, I could be wrong, but I don't, I've n I haven't heard great things about Dark Mummy's damage. But so if you have any, like, whatever, any preferences on who you'd want to see, I'm completely open to suggestions on this. Fight with a friend and power up runes. Um, yeah, powering up runes, I gotta do. So these are all plus 12. These are all plus 12. Acasis is all plus 12. Kona's not, but I don't want a plus 12 four star runes if I do see them. Like these two are both four star runes. Whatever, let's see. I'll, I'll just power this up a couple times and we'll see what happens with it. I don't have a ton of mana. I have a, I have one and a half million. I mean, honestly, that's enough to upgrade a rune to plus 12. So I'll just get this to plus 12 right now. And then hopefully I'll be grinding on this account a little bit more, even off stream. But I mean, I don't know. Just normally when I'm playing on this account, I have this like thought in the back of my head. And it's like, well, you could have been playing on your main account. And so, uh, yeah, that's normally I'll get on this account. And then I have to like run. I'm like, why am I not just playing on my account? Um, it's weird, but yeah, just any suggestions or anything you want to see on this account, definitely tell me in the comments. There's also big, I don't know. I'll, I'll, I'll watch this video over to see if my mic's too loud, but if you guys think it's too loud or too quiet, definitely tell me. Cause I, I don't know. It's kind of making me nervous now that maybe this whole video, I'm just going to have to delete because I'm way too loud or, or way too quiet. I don't either, or is not great, honestly, but yeah, I just, I don't know, I wanted to use this new kind of setup I got because I switched to a dual monitor setup. So, like, yeah, it's on dual monitors now, which is nice. And then I got this, I've had this face cam forever. You can go back a year ago and check out my videos and I'm using this face cam. Um, this mic right here is new. Um... Like I said, I, I don't know if it's good. It might not. It's not a new mic. It's just I found it. And like I found it in my house. And so it's new to the channel. But it, it might be it might be terrible. Uh, this video might have to be trash because it's just bad quality. And then I got the new layout, which is kind of cool. The layout's nothing insane, though. Let's like, let's be real. It's not it's not insane. Uh, but I don't know. It's just cool stuff. I'm working on getting a new face cam. But I haven't gotten around to getting it yet. Um, I have to use three friends reps. So what? I'll just use it to farm a little extra. Does this just a rand count? I'm afraid it doesn't count. So I'm not going to use it. What should I work on leveling up? Probably a three star. Ooh, let's do one that's not fusion. This guy. I don't think he's fusion for anything. Um, I don't know. Maybe maybe he is. But yeah. Basically, I can't decide who to six star. Because I'm like two... Was I two fifths of the way to a six star? Three fifths of the way? I don't know. But now I'm actually kind of thinking of doing Carl. Because I know I haven't heard great things about Carl. But I kind of like his third skill in that it ignores like Rena Shield and... Does it ignore Camila's passive? I don't actually know if it ignores Camila's passive, but it ignores like shield and does it ignore fanatic? Like Chloe's fanatic? I, I actually don't know. I don't know. I'll, I'll have to do a little research on Carl before I just jump in because the six stars in this account aren't amazing. Um, two of them are nat fives actually. They're good monsters. All the ones I six starred I think are good monsters. But none of them are great damage dealers. Like, Camila is like a bruiser. And so, she can do damage and all. But there's I, there's better in the world than Camila. Um, Tessarian, 
most people ruin him as a tank, like support monster. But I ruined him as a damage dealer because for me, when, with all the efforts, I'm like, well, if Theomars can do damage and Tessa and Vero have the same multipliers on the first skill, why can't they do damage? So that's what I don't know. I, I want to experiment with a damage Vero. I haven't yet. But damage Tessa actually, I think, is pretty good. Um, I don't know if it's better or not than support Tessa, but I think it's, it's pretty good. And then the Acasis, not really a damage dealer, a good monster and good for helping out my Giants runs. Um, and the reason it's good for helping out my Giants runs is because I have a really slow Giants team. It's like five minutes even with the Acasis. And but with it, when I use a Vero's friends rep, it drops all the way down to three, three and a half minutes, which I don't know why it's so much faster with Vero. I guess because the I don't get death broken. But so on the boss stage, normally one of my monsters dies because it'll get death broken. And then whichever one gets counterattacked with the death break will die a lot of times. But so having another monster will help speed it up, I guess. And then Vero does the AoE stuns, which might speed it up. The dots, which would definitely speed it up, but also uh, Vero must just do a little bit of extra damage, just like raw damage. So, because it's definitely faster with Vero than it is with Acasis. Or, sorry, it's definitely faster with Vero than it is when I use Rikaja, which is what I normally use. So, I'll show you. Uh, I'll show you my dungeon team, and then I'll kind of start to end, close out the video, because it's been 20 six minutes and i doubt there's really a lot of people left still watching um but there might be you never know um so i'll show you i've cleared all the element b10s um yeah i've cleared magic b10 necro i haven't started dragons i haven't started giants this this is my b8 team i was farming b8 the last time i got on because sometimes if I know I'm only going to get on for like five runs, I'll do B8 because my B8 team's like two and a half minutes, right? Like this team's like two and a half, maybe, maybe three. I'll, I'll say three to be on the safe side. And my Giants B10 team is like five. But the B10 team I'm using at the moment is this. Um, the success rate, I mean, it, it's honestly like around 90, but there's no cleanser. Um, it's like around 90 and like five minutes. Um, I've tried to switch this Rikaja with Kona and it didn't work. Maybe it's because if you look at these runes, um, this Kona's on 150 speed with, what is that? 17,000 HP more or less and 600 defense. Uh, maybe that, maybe that's why it's not working mainly cause it's 150 speed Kona. Um, yeah, it's not great. But I've tried that. Uh, my Iona, the runes are all plus zero. Um, okay, I have one plus nine rune. But so I can't use the Iona yet, and I don't really care to use the Iona until I get this revive maxed. But it's kind of annoying because you can see um, I've gone like everything maxed but the revive, except the first skill needs one more. But I'm tired of getting absorb mana skill ups. I want light of revival skill ups. To make it a six turn cooldown. But I might try it with Iona. Instead of in that last spot. But basically it works best. When I use Vero in this spot. And then switch it to Vero lead. Um, that works pretty good. So I'm working on fusing a Vero. Really slowly though. Um, I'm not really working on it. Because it's not really my main priority. Because I'm like well I can beat Giants B10 without Vero. But it does speed up a lot with Vero. So I want Vero. <coughs> yeah don't get me wrong. I, I want Vero. But. This is my Giants team at the moment. Um, I don't want to show the run because, like I said, it's like five minutes. And I don't feel like you guys really want to see that. The standard arena team I've been using, you guys you guys saw it. I do this. I don't fight real defenses. Like I'll, I'll fight the like troll defenses and the rivals. <coughs> and then I'll call it a day for arena. And I miss the Devilmon all the time in arena. Um... Like, I've had this account a year and a half, I want to say. Um, more more or less a year and a half. I'll probably, I'll probably on the less side, 
but you never I'll say a year and a half and I, I can show you the amount of light dark scrolls I've had I miss all a ton of light dark scrolls so I just don't log in and I can also show you the devil mons I've had as well as the only devil mons I've ever used was I used enough devil mons to max skill my acasis and those are the only devil mons I've ever used so acasis used up five plus four plus one so five plus five ten um a case is used ten and then other than that i have one two three four five six times four twenty four so i've gotten thirty four devil mons in this account in a year and a half so whatever we'll say like seventy five weeks and i've gotten thirty four of the devil mon so i get like every other devil mon more or less uh, you hopefully i'll change that you i know um, I want to skill up the Camila and the Tessa just because they're not fives, but I don't really want to because their skill ups they get are really bad. Like all Camila's skill ups are damage, except I think she gets one cooldown turn and seal of water, but I feel like she doesn't really need the damage that much. Um, of course I have her on a damage build, so maybe she does need the damage, but for a tank build, she doesn't. And Tessa, all he gets is damage and harmful effect rate. But Oblivion already has 100% harmful effects, so I'm kind of like, well, do I really need it? I'm really thinking of using the Devil Mons on this Orion when the time comes. Um, and that's that's kind of it out of the monsters here. I, I'm not sure what I'm going to do exactly this account. There's a lot of work to be done in this account. Um, I have basically rambled on for 30 minutes. I don't know what I repeated multiple times and what I forgot to say, but I'm sure I forgot to say stuff that I'll hopefully remember to say in the next video. But if you guys are still watching, which I doubt there's too many people, if any, that are still watching 32 minutes into it. But if there is anyone watching, uh, feel free to leave any suggestions or comments, questions, concerns, whatever, down in the description. Uh, they're all greatly appreciated, especially on series like this where it's very much like what the user wants i'm gonna try and provide because i'm just kind of trying to make a a re i'm trying to give myself a reason to play this account basically um i don't want to give it away um because i don't know because i like this account i i like having this account as proof when people don't believe that five star video that i you know have this account and i used it with bad runes and whatnot like i i don't like it when people like assume that i bought the account from someone or like this that or the other like i like it when people just know that's like it's my my account but so i don't really i'm not really looking to give it away so, like sorry um but yeah so okay i'm getting off topic but yeah questions comments concerns definitely leave them in the comment section um, if there's anything that you saw during the video that you want to make a remark on or if you want to help advise me with who to six star next, I also appreciate that. No, I'm not really looking to six star someone that's not like quote unquote like fun. Like I don't want to really six star my Bella right now or Shannon or Bernard or Kona. Um, I actually would be willing to six star Iona because I don't have an Iona and it's a light dark nat 4 so that's kind of cool um, I don't really want to six star like Rakaja you know like stuff like that like you guys know what like a fun monster is like basically not a support type or you know something like that because support types I think most of the time you can just leave them at 5 star <coughs> and they can do their magic at 5 star hopefully at least most of the time but yeah, leave that kind of stuff in the comments, guys. I've let this video drag on for 34 minutes, and I'm going to call it quits here, guys. So may the best year of today's be the worst year of tomorrow's.